so you may have heard of uh, a lakh this word a lakh you you'd have seen maybe that something costs some lakhs maybe it's a car maybe it's a house and then you may have seen uh, something costing crores sometimes these very big houses cost crores and then uh, you know that these are big numbers right but if i ask you how big are they really how big are they for example in comparison to some number like 1000 thousand is a is a big number but a lakh is a much bigger number but how bigger how much bigger is it really so uh, if i for example ask you hey give me 1 lakh but then give it to me in 1000 rupee notes then how many 1000 rupee notes do i give to make it 1 lakh let's look at answers to questions like these and to begin let's see uh, the numbers that are not so big like this is 100 and then if i uh, do this if i add three zeros and get a four digit number that's a thousand and that's the thousand and then uh, if i have 1 2 3 4 4 four zeros then this is basically thousand multiplied by 10 right take three zeros thousand multiplied by 10 you get 10000 and that's what we call this 10 times thousand or just 10000 let's say i write it like this 10 10000 I have no idea why only the ten is capitalized, but yeah, ten thousand. And then now let's take this even further. If I make this one zero 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 zero, there are four zeros plus one more zero. So this is my first six-digit number. Now this is a big number. So what is this really? It's thousand multiplied by ten. So I'm just going to put a multiplied by ten sign over here to get ten thousand multiplied by another ten. to get this right so it's 10000 multiplied by 10 so 10 times 10000 or 100000 right i can call this 100000 it so happens that uh, in our indian system we call this 1 1 1 1 lakh 1 lakh so 1 lakh is basically this number 1 followed by 1 2 3 4 5 zeros Now we already have the answer to the question that we are looking for which is if i have to pay in 1000 rupee notes then how many 1000 rupee notes will i give to give to get 1 lakh rupees so you go to the bank and then you withdraw 1 lakh rupees and you want to check if this is correct then how many 1000 rupee notes are there rupee notes are there inr i'll probably put inr over here how many such notes and to do that you can just look here and you can see that 1000 multiplied by 10 gives you 10000 and then 10000 multiplied by another 10 gives you 1 lakh so to go from 1000 to a lakh you have to multiply by 10 twice which is just 100 10 times 10 so you will need 100 a 100 hundred thousand rupee notes so maybe this is the note this is how the note looks like let's say then you need 100 of these to get 1 lakh rupees now we could go bigger than this so if i were to say what what happens if i take this number and multiply it by uh, by 10 then you'll get 1000000 have i drawn it 1 2 3 4 5 and then 1 2 3 4 5 6 here right and what is this this number is what we call see it's a lakh multiplied by 10 So you can guess what the name could be, right? In this case, we call this ten lakhs. So a thousand, ten thousand, one lakh, ten lakhs, and just so that we don't leave out a poor hundred over here, we just call this as well. This is a hundred. So hundred thousand, ten thousand, one lakh, ten lakhs. You keep multiplying it by ten to get to the next number. So now there are a few more questions we can ask. If you wanted to give ten lakh rupees to somebody, then how many thousand rupee notes do you need? Take a couple of minutes, think about it on your own. Do exactly what we did over here, and you can get the answer. And if you did that, you would have noticed that to get ten lakh rupees, you actually need ten times ten times ten, or thousand. You need thousand thousand rupee notes. So if you get a thousand rupee note and then you get thousand of those, then you have ten lakh rupees. 
Now, another question you can think about is that if this so happens, this bank is like um, pretty crazy and if they give this to you in 100 rupee notes, so if they give you 1 lakh and 100 rupee notes, then how many hundreds do we need? Think about that question. So now you know exactly how big a lakh is. It is a hundred times a thousand. So you take a thousand, make it hundred times bigger, then you get a lakh. Or you take a hundred and make it a thousand times bigger because you get 10 times, 10 times, 10. So 100 rupees taken thousand times, a thousand hundred rupee notes gives you one lakh rupees again. And you can keep playing this game. I'm just picking one thing here, you know, picking one of the combinations. So you can pick whatever you want to. So now that you know these numbers, what about this guy? You probably know that a crore is much bigger than a lakh, but how big is it really? So let's do that. Let's actually take the numbers that we, where we left off, which was one, zero, 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 zero. This was 10,000. This was a lakh, L-A-K-H. So one followed by five zeros is a lakh. One followed by six zeros is 10 lakhs. And uh, this is what we call them in India. Uh, in, in, in the international system, we call this a million. And you will learn about this uh, uh, in, in the next set of videos. But for now, you just can take this as 10 lakhs. And then you have, and I'm going to write this in like nice big uh, letters. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Like one followed by a seven zero. So this is my first eight digit number. This is a big number. Eight digit. Digit. Yeah. So you have one followed by seven zeros, and this is what we call one crore. Why am I putting a box around it? Because this is the largest number that we have in the Indian system. So there is no more new names to learn. That's a good thing, right? So you learned 100, then you learned 1,000, then you learned 10,000, and then, of course, a lakh, and then now it's a crore. And that's it. Anything more, it'll just be 10 crores, 100 crores, 1,000 crores, maybe even a lakh crores, but you don't have a new name after this. So looking at this, what can you see? You can see that. If I were to take this color, yeah, let's take white. Then you can see that to go from lakh to 10 lakhs, I multiply by 10. And then to go from 10 lakhs to a crore, I multiply by another 10. So how big is a crore really? A crore, one crore is equal to a hundred lakhs. That's a hundred lakhs. So a crore is a hundred times bigger than a lakh, which in turn is a hundred times bigger than a thousand. So hundred thousands give you a lakh. This is actually, I mean, I think the way I've written it is confusing. So I'm going to take this down. So I'm going to write one lakh equals a hundred thousand. So one crore equals hundred lakhs, one lakh equals hundred thousand. So now um, I'm going to ask you a question that I'm tempted to ask. Now that you know uh, how big a crore is, how big a lakh is, in terms of numbers that you're already familiar with, like thousand and hundred, then I ask you, somebody has to give you one crore rupees, right? And they decide to give it to you in thousand rupee notes then how many thousand rupee notes will they give you? It'll take a long time for you to count, but how many will they give you? You can do that by looking at, okay, hundred thousands make one lakh, and I need hundred lakhs to make one crore. So I have to take hundred thousand rupee notes, and then have hundred of them. So hundred times hundred, so you're going to get one crore, will be one crore equals, a hundred from here and another hundred from here. Maybe I can even... A hundred lakhs and each of those lakhs have a hundred thousand in them. So one more zero, zero, thousand rupee notes. So let's... Maybe these are our thousand rupee notes. Maybe that's how they look. Two, three, there's a thousand written on them. So you have ten thousand of these and then that means that you have one crore rupees. So I hope that you have a good intuition now for how big a crore is and how big a lakh is and how they compare to smaller numbers like thousands and hundreds.